Welcome back to Kraken Packs, and today we're going to be opening an Invasion of Chaos OCG booster box. Let's get cracking. Alright, so today we have one of my all-time favorite sets, and I know it's the favorite of many, many, many collectors of the hobby. We have Invasion of Chaos. This was a, honestly, it's like a series-defining set, in my opinion. Invasion of Chaos int introduced some of the most broken cards of all time. Chaos, Emperor Dragon, and uh, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the End. Uh, and also, at the same time, it, it, it released cards that were in the anime that I was personally looking forward to be released in the TCG, which was Black Luster Soldier and... Dark Magician of Chaos, and I remember being like, why are they effect monsters, not rituals? And then we got them later in Premium Pack in a uh, starter deck, Yugi Evolution. But this is the first kind of glimpse at ya girl and ya boy. So let's go ahead and get cracking packs. So top card in this is Chaos Emperor. Just kidding, it's Dimension Fusion. Dimension Fusion is a $52 card and Chaos Emperor Dragon is close behind at three, uh, $30. And that's because the English version of Dimension Fusion has not been reprinted since the Dark Revelation 2, I think it came out last. Um, it has not been reprinted since that, and it's still used for certain decks to this day. So uh, the English version's like 60, 70. So Korean one's always a little bit cheaper, about maybe 10 to 30% cheaper usually. Oh, we got a Berserk Gorilla right out the gate. Berserk Gorilla. I got a Gorilla for sale, Magilla Gorilla for sale. Uh, and then boom, Sasuke Samurai. Isn't he the original one? Interestingly enough. Over to the next pack. Desk Kangaroo, Soul Absorption, uh, Blasting the Ruins, and a Robbing Zombie. Not Robbing Gablin. We got Robbing Zombie. All right, and then we're over to the Jade Whistle and the Curse of Darkness. <laughs> ah, somebody got it. We have a select few here hanging out with me in chat. Let's give it up for Obi Wan, Zach, and all the rest of the homies. The elite few. While I'm recording all these YouTube videos for you folks. DNA Surgery. Invader in, it's not Invader Darkness, it's a uh, thing in the, thing in the pit, I don't know, a thing in the crater. I don't want to know about the thing in the pit. Let's see here. Wah. Soul Absorption. Bunch of boomers. You know, I never understood the reference, boomerang, as in like boomers. Never got that. I would just always like see that come on and be like, oh, something on Cartoon Network kind of sucks right now, what's on boomerang? I'd be like, oh, some old shows, but I did like, they would play all the old Scooby-Doo's. Um, there's a couple other shows that were pretty good. Ojama Black, all the Ojama cards here. Good old Zane being tormented by the Ojamas. They're ridiculous voices. Jade Whistle, Salvage. See, so you could top off your. The, the one of the good things about Invasion of Chaos is that it kind of like gave the last little push of support for water decks at the time. <laughs> Back in my day, we made decks based on the based on the uh, attribute of the card. <laughs> uh, but now. It's a long way from that. Ooh, Jama Yellow. We're getting all the Ajamas. I think... I think one of them is in Dark Crisis. Could be wrong about that, but I think the first Ajama is in Dark Crisis. Oh, we have a first foil! Again, if you're a regular here in the Kraken crew, you know that I say this every time. The foils in the Korean version are darker, so... Boom! Uh, Nature Beast. I believe. Beast of Nature. Something like that. It's always some back and forth. There we go. Tower of Babel. Another Ojama. I believe the Ojamas are also less frequent in the packs uh, in the English version. I don't think they were short print, but I don't remember pulling them as frequent as this. Oh, we got another pull here. Hey, Chaos Rider. Very cool card, I believe. Didn't Kaiba use this at some point? I don't remember who used it in the anime. We have another foil? Super rare. Freed, hanging out. Making an appearance here, the general himself. Go to the general, save some time, get your ass kicked in about five minutes. That deck and beast deck and warrior deck were also very solid at the time. We got another, ooh, oh, oh, boy. Oh, Dark Magician of Chaos, dude. This was my favorite card as a kid. As an adult, it sucked, no. Still one of my favorites. So epic when he kicked Pegasus' ass with it. It was really great at the time too. The kind of like the, bringing, it had like a bit of a magician of faith you know, aspect to it. Very beautiful card. PSA 10 in English. Actually, I don't want to throw out a number, but it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, one of my all-time favorites. Good pull. So we should have, we definitely have one more Ultra. Uh, but uh, we kind of want that Chaos Emperor. Maybe the other Ultra would be Dimension Fusion. That would be nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're halfway through. Gigantis also got a reprint in... Um, Catapult there. What was it? Ghost from the Past 1. I don't know if you guys noticed they've been reprinting some of the old school 
AST, IOC, that kind of the hits. The greatest hitch of the Yugi Boomers. And I, I guess that's because they announced those new formats, but so far they haven't run any torment, tor tournaments or done anything else. Like, oh, Leviathan Dragon, dude. That's what I'm talking about. See, this dude was awesome back in the day if you were doing the water deck. I don't think water deck was like, you know, tier one or anything, but you can still you can still kick some ass, especially in just like casual duels. Having Gore Turtle and Salad, Legendary Ocean, being able to summon out all those monsters, and then when Legendary Ocean or Umi is on the field, then you can attack directly. One of my all time favorite archetypes, old school archetypes, is just water deck. But in, of course we know the Tornado Wall Wombo Combo. That's where it's at. Then you could even put Yadagrasu in that deck, and get real nasty with it. Part of the underdog, I always think of um, before Duel Links. What was that one called? The Steam game that they had. Legacy of the Duelist. Dantis. The face. I gotta intimidate the pack. Now we'll pull something good. Damn, intimidation tactics didn't work. Who's better? One punch man or one chop man? I don't know. Let's see, Tower of Babel? That's the thing I don't get. So we have a card called Tower of Babel, but they were afraid to put an Ankh or like literally anything else that was religious when they translated a bunch of the cards over to the TCG. I don't get it. Whatever. Literally the Tower to God. L like the most biblical reference you could have. I won't judge you, Konami. You're not as bad as four kids. Uh, Forbidden Course of Seal. Stealth Bird. Now that was an awesome card. It had like some of the, it was almost like a Piranha Guardian card where you'd flip it. Does it send a card back to your hand? Or opponent's card back to the hand? Oh, no, no, no. It did life point damage. It was a burn card. So you could have like Stealth Bird and Lava Golem and DNA, whatever, to lock it all down. DNA Surgery. That was also another good one. Uh, one of the decks I still have to this day, if I'm playing like casual with friends and they're like into the old school cards, is I just have a water deck and I just have a burn deck with like Lava Golem. Neobug. Ooh, we got a raid going on here. Damn, thank you. One, two, three. Oh, Mad Dog of Darkness. Effectively making Gemini Elf useless. <laughs> Why pay like $60 for Gemini, Gemini Elf at the time when you could just get Mad Dog of Darkness? It's kind of the equivalent of what uh, Seven Colored Fish did to Mechana Chaser. Mecha, Mechana Chaser? Mechana Chaser. All right, folks. We're getting down the last couple packs and we still have yet to pull our last super and possibly the secret rare. Samurai Warrior. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got the Chaos Sorcerer, also an incredible card for light, dark, Chaos decks. I've seen some people even tech it in, like not in like tier one decks, but just, I don't know, just for lols in the modern age. Big Koala. B Koala. B. DNA. Is it DNA surgery and what's this DNA operation? Actually, that might be what it's called. I can't remember the name of that one. It's like the lesser DNA card. Oh, yeah, Soul Tiger also had the highest defense of a vanilla four star monster at the time, too, which was. Last two packs, folks. Will we pull the Chaos Emperor? I don't know. Let's find out. Ooh. All right, so the last pack has to be a super. Maybe if I just stay like this, it'll turn into a secret rare. DD designator. <laughs> Sorry, I tried. I tried, guys. I tried the best. All right, well, we did get a Gore Turtle Spirit. I don't know what's going on with him. And Blazing and Pachi number 18. But that's it. No Chaos Emperor today. But I think overall our pulls are really great. If you want to try your luck, hit me up on whatnot. We always do tons and tons of $1 packs. Till then, I'll see you next time. Keep cracking packs.